Hi there. You'll probably realise that for your learners, listening is one of the hardest skills to develop. I'm Joga Conga from elttraining.com and this is an easy idea to use in classes online or face to face to improve listening skills in a motivating way, I think. Take three or four sentences from a reading text that you've done in class, but tell the learners not to look at it. Don't read it. Turn it over or something. All they have to do is listen and identify how many words are in the sentence. Now, say each sentence at a normal speed. Don't over enunciate. Don't grade your language speed in the way that you probably normally would with that level. Make it a bit challenging for them. So you say the sentence two or three times and ask them to write down just the number of words they hear. Like if you're doing this online, they could just write it in the chat box so they all get to participate. Tell them to count all the words. Contractions like I'll count as two words. So a contraction is a word too. Here's a random example. Listen to these three sentences and count the words. Number one. Given all the listening that we do, given all the listening that we do, number two, you'd think we'd be good at it. You think we'd be good at it. Number three, in fact, most of us aren't. In fact, most of us aren't. Did you get those right? You can make the sentences longer or more complex for your higher level learners, of course. And when they've guessed, go through it with them, showing them how the articles and the auxiliaries and the modals get swallowed up in connected speech. Let's look at the examples I gave you. You could just leave it at that, or you could put them in pairs and small groups in breakout rooms if you're online with the rest of the text and get them to do the same thing to each other. This will give them a chance to listen some more, but also it gives them an opportunity to work on their own pronunciation, trying to read text in a natural manner, including all the weak forms and the linking. It's not a magic cure, of course, but it's a great way to improve awareness of those connected speech issues. And if you include it as a regular part of your class, little and often, I think it's a really good way to make them start thinking about the words that get swallowed up and learning to hear them. I hope that it's helpful and you have fun with it. Bye bye.